Time now for Final Exam, where we diabolically pit the news experts against one another like feral mongoose in a cage. Our first contestant tonight, Fox Nation host Abby Hornacek. We're happy to have her. Joining her is our old friend Raymond Arroyo. He's the author of the new book, The Wise Men Who Found Christmas. And we are really glad that you both are here. I'm not going to express any preference at all. Obviously, I'm voting for Abby. Yes. But I'm in, oh, totally, totally, Don't totally break kidding. The game, Tucker. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that's against the rules. I've already been talking okay. trash. <laughs> let me let me tell you what the rules are, though. Okay. I know you're familiar. Hands on buzzers. I ask the questions. All of them are multiple choice. The first person to buzz in gets to answer the question. Critically, you must wait until I finish asking the question and all the possible answers to the question before buzzing in. If you don't, it goes to the other person. Every correct answer is worth one point. If you get it wrong, we punish you by subtracting a point. Best of five wins. Does that make sense? I think we got so. It. Look at that. All you right. have to buzz first before you talk, Abby. Can I hit we the buzzer it, out of his hand? We got it. That's <laughs> no, you. Um, physical violence is, I think, um, the judges are saying that's against the rules. Uh, um, but good luck. I don't think you Keep need your it. Hands to yourself, <laughs> but we'll find out. All right, here's the first question. In an interview this week, Kamala Harris complained about the security measures that go along with being as famous as she is as vice president. What is the one thing that Kamala Harris says she misses most? Is it A, late night visits to Taco Bell? Is it B, sending and receiving emojis? Is it C, driving her Mercedes? I think my button's broken. Your button is off. <laughs> it's broken, broken right? You gotta watch that thumb action. <laughs> I think it's the late night, I think it's the late night trips to Taco Bell. That was going to be my answer. Is Taco it Bell. late night trips? Uh, you know, that sounds like a pretty good guess. I can't it's comment on... Thing. Yeah, do they have marijuana yeah. at Taco <laughs> it's Bell? It's the marijuana <laughs> thing. Good point. Is it late night visits to Taco Bell? Is it true that you are you can no longer send emojis? Yes. Oh, no! I have not received directly an emoji in a year and a half. Oh man. Emoji. She has not That's received an emoji in a first. year and a half. Yeah. That is so it's the, she's not going to cop to the Taco Bell weed visits. No. But, okay. But you Good know guess, she though. went to Taco Bell. Oh, of course she did. Of course. Question 2. Okay. Which sitting United States senator just videoed him or herself chugging a beer after receiving the coveted endorsement from a group of tavern owners in the Midwest? Was it A? Amy Klobuchar? Was it B? Ron Johnson? Was it C? Famed beer drinker Liz Warren. Oh. This is a guess. It's gonna go with B because beer starts with B, and I feel like oh. that's a good option. Ron Johnson well, also like feels the, like he could throw a few back. Ron Johnson. I like the way you guess, Abby Hornacek. We're gonna see if you're correct okay. or not to the tape, please. I want to oh, thank the Wisconsin gosh. Tavern League for your endorsement again. Uh, cheers. I mean, nothing says beer like a suit and tie. Yeah, well, I, I'm kind of <laughs> upset it wasn't Elizabeth Warren. There you go. Far more interesting. Good guess. Because session. he's from Wisconsin where they do drink a few beers. Ah, right. yes. Um, question food. three. Okay. okay. In a new interview, a woman called Karen Elaine Johnson, known to some as Whoopi Goldberg, oh, yeah. said that when she finally retires from the TV program she's disgraced for so many years, she'd like to become a U.S. ambassador to Egypt or which other country? This will be two points. Is that country A, Spain? Is it B, Italy? Is it C, Greece? Italy. It must be Why? Italy. Well, she was in Sister Act, and there are a lot of nuns there, uh, <laughs> Tucker. So that maybe is... she's trying to do some research. She's doing the new nonsense movie or Sister Act movie. This could be a... a, a a professional visit. She's going. She's Raymond on a Arroyo, mission. I love I how both of that. you have revealed the thought process that <laughs> led to your guesses. Um, and let's see if your reasoning was correct. Well, we'll Here see. we go. One day, if I make some money, I want ah! to be an ambassador. Ooh, I'm serious. To where? Um, I think I'd like to be an ambassador to either Egypt or Italy. Oh, thank well, you, really? Whoopi. Wow. I was on the edge of my she it waited to the end to reveal that. She did. She okay, did. Okay, so now we're at 1-1, one, because one, okay. that was a two-point question. So we move, we're moving. This is accelerating really fast, oh just boy. like life uh -oh. itself. Question four. A small town just erected a 17-foot statue in honor of something called Cheetle. That's the <laughs> cheese dust that sticks to your fingers, that's under your fingernails when you eat a bag of Cheetos. Where could this town possibly be? Is it in A, Canada, which is a country to our north? 
Uh -huh. Is it B, the small but proud mountain nation of Switzerland, or is it C, a place called Intercourse, Pennsylvania? Go. I, th I think my button is broken. No, no. You, you, you. I have to go with Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Your finger's it's, fine. It's, it's just slow, Abby. If it had cheese dust on it, I think it would have worked. The, yes. Your thumb is so, like that that yeah. statue, stuck in this position. Go okay, ahead. So what you're saying is, when in doubt, go with Intercourse. Intercourse. Let's always see, go with Intercourse. Let's see. Doctor. Let's see if that. If that like life Canada rule thing. is going to pay off tonight, it's probably like it's, it's Canada. Everyone in Canada. The town in Canada nice. just erected oh, a roadside no. statue of a giant cheetah. Works. Wrong. Check it out. Wrong. Oh. Uh, holy it's smokes. It's because people holy from Canada smokes. are nice. Back, it's like back they could have erected it a little bit more. Back obviously. down again. Now, now, Tucker, what happens? I lose two points or no one You gets lose it? one point. So now Abby's at one. You're at zero. This is the final question. We'll have a tiebreaker oh. if you win this. This well, is getting intense. This is a tiebreaker. Am I not at two? No, you're at you're at Ron one. Johnson. I, th I think we need to recheck the score. You got one for Sorry. Ron Johnson. That was early on. Don't confuse poor Tucker. Uh, I, you know, I'm not a math guy. So we're just going to move into the final question. Now, okay. by order of the National Game Show Commission in Billings, Montana, this is a mandatory animal question, and it's okay. this. An Alabama dog breeder was shocked, was stunned, when his French bulldog gave birth to a puppy that was an extremely unusual color. What color was that puppy? Was that puppy green? Was it purple? Was it blue? A, B, or C? I... I'll let you answer no, because I'm no, a gentleman. It's fine. It's Are you sure? Game, it gains a game. All right. You can I think wrong. I think the puppy would have to be blue, Tucker. Mm. I mean, you don't have green or purple puppies. You just don't. Right. Was I would it, hope or not. You could have Clifford the big red puppy, but right. let's find out. Yeah, let's roll right. tape. When I first saw the dog, I was like. I was like, I thought it was dirty or something. Look at Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> she's so oh, adorable. Green. Yeah, Chloe, the Are little we sure green Frenchie. Are we sure he didn't Frenchie. spray paint oh, the dog? Oh, and she's Come a on. French bulldog. Yeah, she's a French bulldog. Um, she's a that can't be real. That's, that's, that's not real. Puppy. They rolled that dog that looks in like Shrek's puppy. puppy. Chucker, that's not a dog. <laughs> that's Easter egg dye, but whatever. It, <laughs> it is, is green. Yeah, all right. Well. All right. Well, that means Abby Hornacek wins. And it does not detract from our deep affection for you, Raymond Arroyo. But Abby wins the fabled and coveted it was John so Fetterman like, neck oh bulge. Oh my God! What I Mug. always have wanted. Thank you so May much. May it brighten wow. your mornings. Woo! I dare you to drink coffee out of that. Yes. Thank you both. <laughs> it was well, great to see you. And happy green puppies to you, Tucker. Happy green puppies <laughs> to you. I'd like <laughs> Thank you. you. That's it for final exam. We'll have subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens. Stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.